G'day, I'm Ash, hope you're all doing fantastically well. Welcome yourselves to the Spitfire Mark 9C. Yeah, this is a Soviet aircraft, believe it or not. And my goodness me, it is gorgeous as all hell. It's a premium gift Soviet fighter and was only available a couple of times. It's been in the game since prior to update 1.27. In fact, I remember this thing being for sale back in 1.21. And they updated the visual model for this thing, and for a while, this was the best-looking Spitfire in-game. Ranked 4, but already 5.7. It's exactly identical to any other stock standard Mark 9, except for the fact that this thing does get octane. Uh, top speed of 611 kilometers, a turn time of about 17 seconds in RB, and a rate of climb of 22 meters a second. You've got various armor panels, a 4 millimeter plate with a, and a 7 mil plate, and then a 38 uh, bulletproof glass, as well as some other componentry around the engines. And it also got some armor plates around the uh, ammunition as well. It's got a Rolls Royce, and this thing climbs like a homesick angel. It doesn't get anything interesting per se, but. You know, for what it's worth, it's a fantastic aircraft, and I highly recommend that if you get the chance to pick this up when it goes on sale, which is rarely, I highly suggest you pick this one up. Today, we're going to be doing some gameplay and uh, seeing how she goes. So, jump into a match, uh, and the first thing I noticed is most of their fighters were on the deck. Now, there were two AU-1s that have died to a couple of people, and then there was this couple of AM ones. So we're going to take out the ground attackers and then we're going to go after that course here, just to there. This thing's incredibly agile and it should be used in a climbing scenario, however we did do all the climbing for about three minutes. I'm assuming the team ended up on the deck anyway. Rip my flaps by accident, trying to avoid this course here, roll back over again, and we're going to utterly nail him here in a second. This thing is an utter dream to fly. So easy, but I've been spoiled by Italian nose-mounted cannons, I think. So, you know, flying Spitfires, I've never really gotten the hang of flying Spitfires since, uh, really, ever. And what a lucky uh, pilot snipe that was. Now, the wings rip at 774 kilometers now. The gear rips at 270. Doesn't have combat flaps or take flaps, but it does have landing flaps. They are uh, 230 kilometers an hour. Max G's is positive 10 and negative 4. So optimal velocities for everything else is about 300 to 400 uh, kilometers an hour. And obviously uh, the radiator likes it at about 470. Anyway, chasing a tempest down after we've rearmed. And this is where things get spicy. The whole entire team has collapsed. And there's a P-47 and a Hornet inbound. Now... I had all the opportunities, this was going to be a fantastic match. Provided that the Tempest knew what he was doing, and I burn a bunch of energy trying to catch the Tempest. As a result, the P-47 gets away and is allowed to reconvene. The issue is, those 50 cals are incredibly lethal. I'm trying to get a critical hit on that Tempest. And it's just me and another 288 on the enemy team here. Or at least the friendly team. Come on, there we go, we've got one. Unfortunately for me, P-47 in, uh, comes and takes a bit too much off my aircraft right here. Take a bit too much damage uh, in another pass that he procures. And then a Hornet comes and basically shreds me to living pieces. So, I had every, every advantage here, but I couldn't kill the P-47D in time. You know, had I waited another 30, 40 seconds, maybe I would have gotten all the P-47 before, you know, attempting to take on the Hornet. But at this rate, I'm the only one, and the friendly 288. So I'm looking at possibly heading back to base, but as you can see here, the Hornet comes out of the blue, diving out of those clouds. As I've had to do a time cut there. And he basically manages to get me in a, in a pretty rough spot. As you can see here, I'm not generating enough lift hard elevators right now and unfortunately only four kills i was hoping that was going to be a six kill match jumping into the next one got a couple of things listening to some music in the background that's generally how i like to play war thunder if i'm really just wanting to just chill out crack open some music and have a nice cold beverage and play some some war thunder tile 152 absolutely gets eaten up Squad mate silence down there isn't an I-225. He, he's been enjoying the thing recently. Probably should fly that next. And the J-6K-1, one of the Japanese aircraft, 
and uh, I want to see if I can get my hands on not shooting that down. Now the thing is with this aircraft is it doesn't have a decent enough ammo count. Sure enough, it's got 240 rounds for the cannon and 1400 rounds for the 4 7.7s. But I find that they're not exactly the most effective weapons out there. Unless you're chasing this uh, Japanese aircraft here, which we'll get to them in a second. As I was saying, this thing is also quite an impressive money earner, right? With a decent reward rate for battle. Um, it's, a, it's crazy what this thing can do. You know, the pros of this machine, owning a machine like this, is you don't have to play as Britain, right? You're, you're playing as Russia, so you're unlocking Russian vehicles. Uh, it's got an incredibly good climb rate. I can end up at about 6,000 metres in under three minutes. Uh, it has decent acceleration, but not the greatest top speed. Obviously, there are limits to the vehicle, but it can almost outturn everything except for zeros. And if played right, and not like a donkey, like my <laughs> my normal playstyle, then yeah, this thing absolutely wrecks hell. Coming down on this Ki-84. There we go, beautiful. Just one tap, and absolutely nailed him. Back to hang the feet you. Next Ki-84. Go a bit negative there. Roll the airframe back over. He's going after silence. Try and do the one tap thing. Only managed to rip his wing off. That throws him off the scent. I'm just going to dacker him a bit. But yo. He is now down. There is another couple of aircraft left. There is a Kika and two... Actually, three JU-8s. So... Let's go and, and feast on the bombers. But... The cannons overheat on this thing. It doesn't take damage at all. Like it, when you saw in the, the the first dogfight that I had with the Hornet and the P forty seven, the minute something tries and shoots you is the minute you lose all airborne. The roll rate is okay, uh, but at high speeds, this thing is just utterly uncontrollable and has average cannons, obviously doesn't get suspended armaments either so this thing is really a dedicated pure fighter. I love it in it's green with the Soviet sort of things on the side and the insignias. Utterly fantastic. Probably one of my favourite aircraft in game. It, despite being a premium, you know it's got charm and for that I, I, I just I just admire it even that much more. Anyway, 288C was on fire briefly there. Let's see if we can get him with a couple of hits see if we can get an assist or two. Never mind. Uh, the next 288 is coming in for a bit of a turn run. Why he's turning in? If he continued the other way, he would have exactly like outrun us. But managed to set him on fire. Put a few more hits into him. He gets lucky and manages to rip off a section of my left wing. I get the kill, and now it's time to go back to the airfield. Unfortunately, the guy on the enemy team uh, decides that he doesn't want to play ball and. As such decides that he wants to climb to space, J out, and well, basically win us this game. So yeah, two perfectly average four kill games. I've ripped my gear off. I don't have any uh, sort of aircraft. Silence there comes in for a nice landing. Just watch this. I've gone topsy over. Right, ready? And well, I've survived. <laughs> he puts the brakes on too hard, kills his pilot. Poor sod. Uh, meanwhile, I'm up and airworthy, but alas, it doesn't matter. And by the way, I earned probably 200,000 silver lines from just playing this machine in two matches. Utterly ridiculous earning on this machine. You've got... Oh, I don't know, it's something about this machine. Like, I've got kangaroos under the front. It's the only one that I really haven't shoved decals on everywhere, but I'm so fond of this machine that whenever I get to play it out, it's an absolute blast. And alas, they only uh, released this on the 3rd of March, 2017. So that's when I picked up this machine. Uh, and it was a very, very long time ago. And I don't think they pull it out very often. I think I've pulled it out for one other event, but again, I'm not entirely sure. Again, it's just one of those decent vehicles. And if you have one, let me know what you think of it in the comments down below. And if you are eyeing it off, well, hopefully it comes out soon for you guys. Anyway... That's it for today. Bit of a chillax video. I am still struggling from the effects of dealing with a household that's basically on fire at the moment. I'll let you know how that goes. But uh, we'll see you tomorrow. All right. Cheerio.